everyone and welcome back to another video so i am doing another video today uh about mcmaster if you've seen the title so likely uh if you're watching this you are thinking about going to mcmaster or you go to mcmaster currently and are just kind of looking for some guidance for some courses to take and maybe this is going to be for september for you i know the courses uh are open to choose from right now i picked my courses for this coming school year which will be online unfortunately but uh i thought maybe you guys would want to see a video like this if you are kind of struggling to find courses or are kind of wondering what courses you could take that would be an easy credit and i feel like I've been there for a, like two years now. Um, I know a lot of people that go there. I have, uh, I've done a lot of courses there. I've done about like 30 courses there so far because I did take an overload. So I've done quite a lot. Uh, and I know which ones are easy and I know which ones are hard. So I'm gonna be doing some courses that you should take today. And I don't want anyone to take this too seriously because obviously, you know, it's personal preference. Not everyone has the same opinion as me and I don't intend, I'm not trying to insult any of the professors or anything. Honestly, I've had a really good experience at McMaster uh, with mostly all the professors have been great and uh, most of the courses have been good. But yeah, this is just my personal preference. So don't take it too seriously. But uh, there will be some awesome courses that you can take in this video that will be a very easy credit for you guys. And uh, some without exams too, which I think you guys would like and I know I liked. So I'm kind of just going to get right into this. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, like and subscribe down below. I will also link my other McMaster videos down below. But anyway, we're going to get right into this video. So let's go. Okay, so I have a list here on my phone of the ones that I recommend and the, I'm going to start with the first year courses because I, I think probably a lot of you are maybe going into first year if you're watching this video because I have taken more first year courses than any other year. So the first one that I would recommend is Music 1A03 and it's a music course obviously and it's called uh, Introduction to the History of Music. Uh, so this course, uh, I'm not necessarily interested in the history of music at all, but I took this course as an elective because I thought it might be easy and I mean I do like music but I don't really play too many musical instruments, I can play the piano, but, uh, but it was really easy. I would definitely recommend this because there's just two evaluations, a uh, midterm test and a final test. So really uh, for a course load it's not very heavy. You only have to do like two tests rather than a lot of courses have like four or five assignments and an exam. This one is just two tests. So really light course load. And the good thing about it too is that there is a textbook obviously, which you can read up on, but most of the exam questions are on online Quizlets. So if you search up the course code in Quizlets, you can usually find like the exact exam questions that they are going to be using. Um, that's a little hack that I kind of learned. Uh, so this was a very easy course to get a good mark in. And honestly, it's one of those courses that you can kind of just take and um, you can focus on your hard courses and kind of have that as like a separate course where you can just kind of like leave it until the end of the semester, which I know I do a lot. So that's my first one. The second one I would recommend you guys is Multimedia 1A03. So it's a first year multimedia course and you can take this any year uh, that you're in as an elective uh, or sometimes it's a required course but for me it was a required course and I actually really enjoyed it if you like uh, stuff like like I enjoy filmmaking and designing and working with media so it was something I had kind of a personal preference in but even if you don't have a personal preference in this area it was a very easy course to get a good mark in there was four assignments but each one was not very difficult you had to make Kind of your own little video and then you kind of had to make your own book cover and a couple of kind of like easy assignments like that so as long as you kind of have like a general knowledge of technology and how to use like some programs 
you can get a pretty good mark in this and it's pretty easy and it was kind of a fun course like when I think back to first year I remember it as one of the more fun ones so definitely multimedia 1a03 I would recommend the third course and this is the course that I recommend more than any course on this list uh definitely take this if you come out of this video and don't take this i'll be upset <laughs> it's called voice and vision words to change the world and it's humanities 1vv3 and uh i don't know why it's called voice and vision words to change the world it literally i don't know what that means but this was the easiest course i've ever done this was easier than a high school course to be honest with you guys there's no midterm, there's no final exam. All you have to do is show up to a two hour tutorial every week. I didn't even go to the lecture. You really just have to show up to a tutorial every week. And all I did in this tutorial was talk to the people at my table um, about nothing. Uh, we didn't do any work at all. There was one assignment, one essay you had to do um, on like a book of your choice. You had to talk about the writing style of it, but that was literally it. Like you really have to do like one assignment and show up every week for two hours. So definitely I would recommend this. This was easier than anything I've ever done. And yeah, so I would definitely take that. The prof and the TA that I had were like the chillest people ever. They didn't care if you didn't show up. They didn't really care uh, what you did. Uh, I did my other work for my other courses during this time slot. Uh, and they were fine with that. It's almost like a free period. So I would definitely take that as an elective. And to go along with that, the fourth course that I recommend is Humanities 1QU3, which is also a first year course. It's called Insight and Inquiry Questions to Change the World. I don't know what the heck that means either, but it goes along with the other one that I just recommended. And it's the same thing, a two hour tutorial every week, pretty much a free period where you just have to do like one assignment. I did one assignment on uh, prison labor and did a little presentation, but it really only took me like a day to make the presentation. And the rest of the semester, all I did in that class was my work for other courses and talk to friends. So uh, definitely take those two. If I could recommend let you take any of these courses, it would be these two because uh, you will have a, a good time. You will have an easy time. And I got an A plus in both of these. So definitely it really will bring up your average and they're very, very easy and like a free period, as I said. So the next course that I recommend is Women's Studies 1A03. It's a first year women's studies course and I'm very interested in women's studies and women's rights. Uh, so if you have that similar uh, interest as me, you probably enjoy this. But even if you don't, this is a very easy course and very interesting and there's a textbook but it's only about $20 which is a great price for a course textbook uh if you guys know textbooks are like $200 so definitely finding a course where there's no textbook is very saves a lot of money uh so this one was, was only about $20 a really great price and the course was pretty interesting and the exam was only 20 multiple choice questions and I got I think an A plus on the exam and overall a B plus in the course so it's very easy there's four assignments, but again, they're not like really super hard assignments and really you just have to show up to tutorials. I went to the lectures, but even if you don't go to the lectures, uh, it's not very hard. So definitely I would recommend that. And the next course I recommend is a theater and film course, which I'm very interested in. So this could be a little bit of a biased opinion, but it's theater and film 1T03. And I really like this course. My TA for it was so, so nice. And overall, it was really good. The prof was really good. And yeah, it's one of those courses that I remember from first year as being like really fun. Like when I think of ones that I enjoyed, I enjoyed this class a lot uh, because I, I mean, I liked the subject, but it was also very easy. You really only have to read like kind of one play uh, and you don't even have to read it. You can just kind of like spark notes it. And there's a midterm exam, but it's very short. And then there's a final exam, which is also not very hard and it's all multiple choice. And then there's kind of, I think three assignments in between, but they were also all very doable, very easy. So definitely I recommend this. It's kind of an easy course that you can just add to your schedule that might even kind of be kind of fun for you. So definitely theater and film. 
I recommend all those courses, but this one in particular as a first year course. Now we're getting into second year courses, which I don't recommend a ton of second year courses. I didn't take a lot of second year courses to be honest with you guys, but the ones that I did take were not my favorite. Uh, so I'm just gonna talk about the ones that I actually did like, which there aren't too many, but I really liked uh, music for film and television, which is music 2F03. This was my favorite course by far that I took at McMaster. It was really, really interesting. And I think it could be because I have an interest in film and television as well as music. But any of these music courses are very easy. As I mentioned with the first year one, there's just a midterm and a final. So really just two tests, no assignments at all. So it's one of those courses that, yeah, you can just kind of, you can leave it and kind of just do the two tests and not attend the lecture if you want. I attended this lecture because I found it to be very, very interesting and really fun. When I think back to going to this class, it was a night class and I spent like three hours at night there just hanging out and it was really, really fun. Uh, they talked about some really good films and the music for it. So I found it really interesting and it's very easy. So definitely I would take that one. And the next course that I recommend from second year is another music course. Uh, I don't know why I've taken so many music courses, but honestly, they're very, they're really easy and sometimes they're really interesting, like this one. So this one was Music 2II3, and this is popular music in North America and the United Kingdom post-World War II. So, um, I really like music from like the 1970s and 80s, so I was very interested in the content of this course. Obviously, they talk a lot about the Beatles, the Rolling Stones. Uh, stuff before that, but what really made this course so good was the instructor, whose name is Simon Wood, I think, um, and he's very, very funny, so honestly going to his lectures was like seeing a stand-up comedian, it was really good, and I would definitely recommend that you guys take this one. It's really good content, a good lecture, and again, just the two tests, so you don't have to put in a ton of work, but do make sure you study for the test, because the tests were a little bit hard in this class but because it was content i enjoyed i wasn't um i wasn't like against studying it the third course from second year that i would recommend is communication studies to dd3 which is media organizations and this was a pretty good uh course it was kind of about journalism and social media and reporting and media ownership which are sometimes can be interesting but the prof in this course was very she was she worked really hard to kind of make sure that everyone understood everything and was engaged and her name is Selena Mudavan who she's very good and I found this course really easy as well it was just easy to understand everything because it was all kind of real world stuff and I got a pretty good mark in it so I would recommend this to you guys there are like four assignments so it's a little bit more work than some of the like music courses and stuff but I would still recommend it as a good course to take and that's everything for second year. I, I didn't enjoy too many of my second year courses, to be honest with you guys. They were all kind of communications courses, but anyway, uh, those were the ones I recommend. And as for third year, I have not taken any third year courses yet because I'm going into third year. Uh, so I will update you guys with a list then when I have done more. Those are all the courses that I kind of wanted to talk about. For the most part, I've had like an amazing experience at McMaster and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped a little bit. Definitely check out my other McMaster videos down below. Like I said, comment down below some of your course suggestions if you go to McMaster because I definitely want to hear them. I've signed up for my course load this year and would love your opinion, I guess. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and leave a comment down below if this helped. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.